delivery, land use and management. This is just some of the issues that continue to heart business operations. So what is being done to ease uh, the process of doing business for small enterprises. And joining us for that tonight is the Deputy Governor for Nairobi County, Jonathan Weke. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. You're most welcome, Terry. Now, you have been quoted as saying that the current business licensing program is lengthy, cumbersome, and inconvenient. Is that still your sentiment? Uh, the former licensing program, uh, about three weeks ago, we totally changed that in terms of licensing because uh, we started a new um, service called the e-payment system. So what we have done is we've computerized the entire licensing uh, uh, workflow in terms of the licensing to be able to get your business up and running. Uh, before it would take four to six months, a very cumbersome, very lengthy and very painful process in getting a business license. Uh, now we've automated that. And uh, you can get your business license in Nairobi in under five minutes. Mm -hmm. So how d what's the process like and where does one start? Um, you need internet access. So you can do it on a computer using our new web portal, which is nairobi.go.ke. Or you need your phone, uh, where we have a USSD code. That's a star uh, 217 hash. And it gives you a menu. Mm -hmm. So if you have not registered yet as a, as a user, you register yourself. Uh, then it asks you what kind of business you have. So you declare your business. That enables us to get you the tariff, mm -hmm. uh, either by the size of the business or number of employees. Tariff is really how much are you going to pay for your license. Uh, then once you have that done, uh, it takes you to a payment option. And payment option, you can pay uh, at any agencies. Right now, our agent is a cooperative bank. Uh, and we're expanding to the supermarkets and your pharmacy and everywhere. Um, or uh, your M-Pesa, your Airtel, your Ucash, your Orange Money, you can be able to pay uh, using that as well. And once you make your payment, uh, it will send you a link via your email of where you can go and print your business permit, which has a barcode, and you print it. Then what we do now as a county government is we have inspectors that come around and check if you told us the truth when you are self-declaring the kind of business you have. And if we find you didn't tell the truth, then we uh, make you pay the difference of what you are supposed to pay, and we fine you for not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. So really, it's a very innovative, uh, very digital way to be able to, uh, to get your, your license. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the latest on the single business permit? Uh, in terms of what? In terms of how, you know, how many licenses does somebody have to get? A single business permit is just one, yeah. but depending on the kind of business you have, uh, there's other regulatory uh, licenses that you might need to get. Mm -hmm. For example, if you um, have a restaurant, then you need to get a health certificate, a food handling certificate, because you're dealing with, uh, with food, and that's a health issue. You know, if you're selling uh, beer or wines or spirits, you need a liquor license, mm -hmm. so you'll need to go and get uh, that as well. If you have a casino or doing gambling, you need a betting uh, license. Uh, if you're operating transportation, uh, you need a, a transport license to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we are working within our trade ministry to see how we can compress those into one easy to do license mm -hmm. so that it reduces that. Yes. Uh, but Terian, I'd like to mention those. Licensing is just one part of enabling a business are uh, there several things that you need to get a business up and running. Uh, the first one, uh, of course, is the market. You need to find out, are there people, customers, to buy what you're selling, either mm -hmm. the product or the goods. Uh, the second one, which is very important that government uh, should, uh, should, should facilitate, uh, is infrastructure. You know, you need roads so that you can get your goods and products in and out uh, to the customers uh, safely in one piece. You need security because businesses need to be secure so that they can be able to operate. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one, which we just spoke about uh, in interest rates here, mm -hmm. is capital. You know, do you, you know, where do you get the money to start this business and to sustain it? We yeah. saw uh, the Biva Salon say that you, know, you need two, three hundred thousand shillings. So it varies uh, across that. Mm -hmm. um, um, then the fourth one, of course, is the licensing. Licensing is done at two levels. There's the national level where you get your business registration either a business name, or if it's a limited business, you get uh, your limited, I mean, yeah, certificate of incorporation, yeah. 
right? Mm. Then you come to the counties for a single business license. Yes. So already there, there's a, there's a duplication. Mm -hmm. The registration of the business needs to be decentralized from the national government to the counties mm -hmm. because the businesses really are in the counties. Yes. So that removes that bottleneck of business registration and it improves your doing business index. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, the World Bank says we are number 129 as Kenya mm -hmm. in doing business, which means uh, if somebody from around the world wants to come and do business in Kenya, um, we are number 129 in the list. Yes. Rwanda is now at 32 uh, because they've made some of these things uh, the, the very, yeah. very, very easy. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things that you, you, you need to be able to do that. Then, of course, very, very important, once you've registered your business, is the skilled labor. You need people to be able to work. And to be productive, you need people who know mm -hmm. what they're doing. So how is our education system? Mm -hmm. How are we retooling our society so that we know what kind of jobs are out there? Yes. Then our people know what kind of skills they need to get those jobs, mm -hmm. and where do they go to get those skills? Mm -hmm. So there's a whole uh, chain of things to be able to, to, to run a successful okay. business. Very quickly, um, as yeah. we wind up, what is your master plan as a county government for small and micro enterprises? Um, our master plan, the one we just rolled out, is really based on planning of the city. Now, which kind of pegs on what I mentioned infrastructure? You know, how are you integrating your roads, your ICT, your water, your power, your street lighting, and so on into one easy way for people to be able to move in and out of your city and to have planned developments. Uh, Nairobi has grown unplanned since the 1920s. Mm -hmm. And this is what uh, this county government that uh, we are currently leading is going to fix. And uh, what's been lacking is the political leadership. But the governor and I mm -hmm. have shown that now we are committed to ensuring that this master plan is actually implemented. We've had master plans before. They've never been implemented. Mm -hmm. Now we have integrated all of this, and that's what we validated uh, the other day. And, and the Mwanainchi has agreed that it's the way to go. Okay. Where we are saying now we're going to plan where you put your houses, your schools, your hospitals, uh, your businesses, and so on and so forth. Yeah. That way there's infrastructure for everybody to be able to do what they need to do okay. uh, in the most simple way. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for shedding those hi highlights. Of course, very important information for small businesses who are really keen on setting up um, you know, given the government's backing on, on, on entrepreneurship. Yeah. But just yeah. before we close, Terian, uh, this mm -hmm. e-payment thing that we're doing is what's really going to revolutionize mm -hmm. how our government begins to integrate uh, or communicate with the citizen. Okay. That's why we are telling the citizens now they can work with us, they can yeah. pay us from their mobile phones, get their business licenses, pay their land rates, Okay. Anything that they need to do. All right, we must wrap now. Uh, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, Deputy Governor Nairobi County, Jonathan Mweke, telling us how, what they are doing as a county government to ease doing the process of doing business. Well, it's time now for Smart Farm. For some, this exotic bird is a good source of meat and eggs, but for others, it's